Hey guys, this is Ellie Grace. She is a miniature toy schnauzer puppy. She is eight weeks old and I don't know, six days, seven days, something like that. And today we're going to give her a light trim. She just recently had a bath with her breeder before she came home. So I'm not going to bathe her today because she was bathed about three days ago. She will be bathed again in a week. What we're going to do Good Ellie Grace. This is her first time with me. I'm just going to start lightly brushing Ellie Grace before I trim her. I've noticed that her skin is a little dry right now as I've been brushing her. But that's okay. It is winter time and it may just be that she could use a good condition. So we're going to go ahead and bathe and condition her again next week and try to put a lot of moisture back into her skin especially. I would never start trimming a dog without thoroughly brushing gently and combing through the coat so that I know that it's going to be nice and pretty and straightened out for me to trim, to scissor, use my clippers. Good Ellie Grace. Come up under her chin. I'll just like this and this feels nice to her. She loves to be touched as it is. I just want to make sure I'm getting to the skin and that way my clipper will be able to put a nice precise trim on her. We're going to give her a little modified schnauzer trim right now because she is so little. We kind of really like this puppy fuzz. It's cute. I see a lot of people go right for the seven blade and put that pattern on them right away. The tools that we're using today is going to be my Kenchi 5 Star. This is a curved shear. I'm going to go ahead and use my Jody Murphy Outliner Blending Shear. We're going to use our Kenchi Flash 5 Clipper, which is an adjustable blade clipper. So it adjusts from an 8 blade to a 30 blade. I'm going to use the guard combs that come with it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try this quarter of an inch. This is going to be a nice pattern set for Ellie. I don't have Ellie on a grooming loop. That's one of the reasons why I chose to work with her today on my very large table so that I can easily keep a hand on her and have my tools on the table right here by my side so that I don't have to worry about not having a hand on Ellie. We're going to set that schnauzer pattern on her. She has had a sanitary trim a few days ago. I'm not going to go ahead and do that again today. Her paw pads were cleaned out nicely. Her nails were trimmed and dremeled. And I can see there's clearly nothing I can trim off of them. So the breeder has already set her up for success when she sent her home, which is so awesome. And that's a testament to SVCC Toys Schnauzers. You can find her on YouTube sharing everything about how she raises her puppies daily, how she trains her dogs, how she starts training her puppies from day one. I know she's had clippers around her. She hasn't had tools around her with me. So now I'm teaching her that though she's used to the tools, now she can trust me with the tools. So I'm just running the clipper. It's not even on her. Good, Ellie Grace. That's good. You want to take your time with puppies. I'm going to slide on my guard comb. Look, Ellie Grace. It's not a chew toy. I want my blade set to, I'm gonna go to a 30. I'm gonna turn it on again. I'm gonna stand Ellie Grace up. Good Ellie Grace, it's very important. Good Ellie Grace to have them standing because it actually makes them feel a little more confident. And um, you have to be patient with puppies. Sometimes you just gotta keep turning them around and resetting their mind by going to another area. So I'm coming down the, the leg a little like I would on a schnauzer, dropping off right here. I'm just putting kind of a generic schnauzer pattern set on Ellie today. We just want her to start looking a little like a schnauzer. Oh, she's so cute. Good, Ellie, good. Dropping straight off of that elbow. And she's starting to get a little concerned about what I'm doing over here. So I'm going to turn her around and let her think about something else for a second. And she's going to try to eat her hair. Ellie Gray. That's yucky. See how her hair kind of swirls in this direction? That's how I'm going to do my clipper work. Good Ellie Grace. Taking that straight off of her tail. I'm going to tip up the inside of her leg. I am going to clean this up a little bit there. Same thing here, clean that up a little bit just on her inner thigh. Good, Ellie. Boy, you can really see her black color popping out. Good, Ellie Grace. 
I don't think that you should be eating that hair. <sighs> okay, good. Let's forget about that hair for a minute, Ellie Grace. <laughs> oh, she's a sassafras. She's a sassafras. Say, schnauzers are not little wussy dogs, I'll tell you that. They are brave little creatures, but very loving and very easy to be with. They love companionship. Such a cool thing about this breed. Now I'm going to come down behind her head. And sometimes you want to work quick with a puppy. Like, oh, see, because that just reminds me, look, you, it really wasn't bad. If I had stood here for a while and oh, given her time to react, she may say, no, I don't want you to. But I went right in. I went right in. I tilted her head down. I went right in. Good girl, Ellie Grace. Good girl. Yeah, you are a beautiful schnauzer. And <laughs> let's get that out of the way there, girlfriend. You're going to have a bellyache from eating all this hair. We don't want you to have a bellyache from dog hair. So I'm thinking about some different things on the top. We're going to leave her ears a little fluffy right now. I'm going to try something, but I am going to clean all this off like I would on a schnauzer to set in that schnauzer puppy head. We're thinking about leaving this a little spiky because it's so cute and she's a puppy. We want to keep some of this cuteness. So we don't have to go right for the traditional schnauzer trim right away. In fact, we don't have to do a traditional schnauzer trim on her at all. We could do a teddy bear trim if we wanted to, but we happen to be fond of schnauzers <laughs> and we think they're quite beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and come in and start setting in the front. And I have to be quick to let her know, oh, look, see, it worked out just fine. If I give her time to think about it before I start using the tool, she may decide she's afraid of it. But by showing her that there's nothing to be afraid of right away going in, she's like, oh, okay, okay, this is good. And I trust Amy. Good, Ellie Grace. Beautiful, Ellie Grace. We're just going to keep working. You want to hold those ears out of the way. We don't want to catch them in the clipper. Though we're using a guard comb, we still don't want to catch them with the clipper. Come straight off the front. We want the chest to drop straight into the legs on a schnauzer, and we're going to do that on our puppies, too. Good, Ellie Grace. She's doing great. Good, Ellie Grace. I'm going to come in a little bit in reverse just so I can get that hair a little better right in there. Pretty girl, Ellie Grace. And this is only in the front here. They have a little bit of a calic right there. It's snowing dog hair for Christmas. This is going to be your first Christmas in a couple weeks. And we're going to make sure that you look your best. Yes, good, Ellie Grace. I'm going to come right down the side. I'm going to do a lot of that with my blending shears here in a minute. I want to set the length with the clipper first. And with your puppies, you're constantly going to have to be moving them around because they're, they're wiggling. But that's why I like to make sure, good Ellie Grace, that I have a big enough working surface so that I can control her nicely. But I have to keep a hand on her at all times. She's a puppy. Puppies can be quick and a little unpredictable. And don't forget, this is new to them. We have the start of a beautiful schnauzer. Hold her this way, and I'm not holding her by the throat. I'm just holding her. Good, Ellie Grace. And then telling her that she's a good girl. And she is not resisting right now. That's very good. This is awesome. This is awesome, Ellie Grace. Yes. I can't believe all that hair came off of it. 2.9 pound puppy. I can't believe it. So she is 2.9 if you want to get that right. So she's two pounds, nine ounces right now. Now what I want to do, good Ellie Grace, with my comb, good. Get her nice and settled. I'm going to comb this up and I'm going to start scissoring in a shape very careful. I have my hand on her nose so I can feel if she's going to make any sudden movements. I want to be prepared for that so I can stop opening and closing my scissor. What a perfect little girl she is. Yes. Oh, she's adorable. So what I'm going to do now is lay this little ear back 
and I'm kind of going to, with my blending shears, I am I would normally be in here with a clipper, but I think she's going to be much more calm if I'm carefully, cautiously using my blending shears. Good girl. And blending shears leave such a flawless finish, so, you know, you've got to have that ear out of the way. If you're not a seasoned groomer, I wouldn't suggest you start working with puppies. Puppies are a challenge. Be ready for them, good Ellie, to make moves that you're not prepared for. And I'm tidying up all this behind her little ear so that her little ears actually stand out a little bit when we look at her. Hi, Ellie. Yes. And here we would take this a little tighter. Good. I think she likes the sound of scissors. I think she does. Yes. Good, Ellie Grace. We're going to be working towards an eyebrow here soon. This would normally be done with a clipper, but I'm very carefully just going to use my blending shear because it is a little forgiving. We're going to lay this ear back. Good, Ellie Grace, and we're taking off the cheek like we would on a schnauzer, but I'm using my blending shear. I don't like to go super short on these little puppies. A lot of people go right for a seven blade, and unfortunately I see a lot of people using a 10 blade, and I'm not a fan of that on a puppy or an adult dog to set the pattern on a schnauzer. I feel like it's way too short. It can damage the hair follicle and they could end up with what's called schnauzer bumps, which is blocked or clogged hair follicles. Now I'm just shaping gently with my blending shear. Good, Ellie Grace. I know, she says this is exhausting, but see how she's relaxed? I really like to see that. This makes me happy. That makes me know that she's not stressed and hopefully grooming is going to continue to be something that Ellie Grace welcomes. If you put the wrong ideas in their minds as puppies, if, you know, you scare them. This is another reason why I wanted this grooming session today to be short and sweet so that she could win at it. You know what I'm saying? It will be a win for her. It wasn't long. It wasn't stressful. You know, the next time I groom her, we're going to be doing more trimming than this. So we're giving her a dose of it right now. I can come in here on an inverted V shape with my blending shears and just clean up right under her eyes. And I can also come in here and start setting those eyebrows right between there. Just starting to set that shape. I like to look at them straight on and see. I can see that this is uneven. This is a little uneven. So now that I'm looking at her straight on, I know exactly what I need to touch up. Good, Ellie Grace. Yes, Ellie Grace. Gently take a look if I lift up here. I can see there's some messy areas down here. I'm just putting in an outline of a schnauzer pattern set on Ellie today. I'm not going to get crazy. I'm just trying to set it so that one, she can look a little bit more like a schnauzer, and two, she gets used to this. I know we're making you tired now. She says, I take naps about every hour. So she's like, you guys are past your limit here. Ellie, I got to stand you up a little, okay? And then what I would do is I may just with my blending shears, just, she's got puppy hair. So it goes a little bit here, there and everywhere. And I'm just tidying. Oh, she's so tired. It's okay, Ellie. We're going to try to make this quick. I'm going to take this a little bit tight back here so it starts to look like that schnauzer, you know, bend a stifle thing that we do with our schnauzers. Good, Ellie. 
Stay with us, honey. Stay awake. Good, Ellie. Stay awake, Ellie Grace. And I do like to do my work with a blending share um, because I, I would be doing a lot of this with a clipper, but a blending shear is going to be a little bit more forgiving. So that's why I'm choosing to use that. And also, I just think Ellie Grace is going to like the blending shear more than a clipper right now. She's so pretty. She looks great. Might just blend that down a little bit. Yes, Ellie Grace. Now we're just going to tidy up her feet, and that'll probably be all we need to do. It's okay, Ellie. You're doing great. Good girl. So with her standing. Good, Ellie Grace. Okay. I'm just going to outline. Good, Ellie Grace. Her little paws. We don't need to take much today. You want to use your comb. Good Ellie Grace. It's much safer to trim around the paws when their feet are on the ground. Then you don't have to worry about nicking them. Their little paw pads are so tiny and they're so tender because she's a baby. She hasn't at all wore down or cal you know, calloused up her little paw pads yet. So we're just rounding those feet a little bit. This is all it needs done. You would shave the pads of the feet if that wasn't already done. I would have done that first. You're doing great, little bug. Yes, Ellie, good. And I'm always looking at them while I'm trimming them. Like right now I see that. I'm going to, you know, and if I wasn't going to snip at it at this second, I would remember that it's there and I want to go back to it and tidy it up. And talk to your puppies. Let them hear the sound of your voice. Even if you're just talking, you don't have to baby talk her, but talk gently and just talk. Heck, you could tell a story if you want to. The sound of your voice is going to prove to be a little bit soothing to her, especially if it's your dog. She knows the sound of your voice. But if you're a groomer and you haven't worked with a puppy yet, by them hearing your voice, it may be a slight distraction and take their mind off of it and just make the whole process completely forgettable to them. Like, okay, I don't know what I just did, but it wasn't a big deal. You know, forgettable is a good thing. Forget oh, I knew Schnauzer's adorable. Yes, Ellie Grace. Yes, Ellie Grace. Oh, good, Ellie Grace. What a good little girl she is. I just have her chin resting on my thumb. But... I feel I can secure her a little bit by note by ha you got to have a hand on them at all times to be able to quickly save them from any bad moves they may make. <laughs> right, Ellie? I'm just looking here. Her beard's a little uneven, so I'm just nipping at the tips here to even that up a little better. Good, Ellie. I know you're tired. We're going to let you down in just a second, and we're going to give you a nice snack and a potty break, and we're going to snuggle you because you're such a good girl. Because you're such a good girl, Ellie Grace. Yes, you are. Good, Ellie Grace. you got to use your comb all the time when you're scissoring. The little areas are going to pop out on you. We're trying to cut in that schnauzer pattern now. We're trying to definitely make it identifiable. And we are going to keep her little ears fluffy today because it's adorable. We probably will end up definitely going to the traditional <laughs> schnauzer ear for Ellie. But right now she's a puppy. It's cool to leave some of those puppy characteristics in their groom so that they still look like the tiny little babies that they are. We can make them look like grown-ups much later. 
We have the rest of their lives to make them look like grown-ups. But right now, we only have our baby babies for a short time. So keep them looking like babies for a while. It's sweet. Good, Ellie. And I think we are going to say, Ellie, you did fantastic, Ellie. I don't bother with colognes or anything on the babies. They're little. Let's let them get used to their environment and all the other things that they're exposed to before we start, you know, introducing colognes and stuff to the baby skin. The, the, their skin is only eight weeks old. Think about that. Only eight weeks old. It has not been exposed to much of anything. She's barely been outside at this point. She hasn't needed to be. So at eight weeks, she's, she's getting exposed to new things. Ellie, I love you so much. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. She is adorable. She is adorable. I love you. You're tired. And here's our first schnauzer puppy trim. What do you think? Leave a comment. And definitely smash the like button for little Ellie Grace. We're starting a series of schnauzer videos with Ellie Grace. This is the first one. The next one is going to be Ellie Grace's bath and condition, as well as might do a little more trimming on her. I'm probably always going to do a little trimming no matter when I have her on the grooming table, whether it's just a little scissor trimming or if it's a little bit of guard comb work. But we set her pattern today with a quarter of an inch guard comb. And look, she looks like a schnauzer. We don't have to go for that seven blade. Good, Ellie Grace. We'll see you in the next one. Right, Ellie? We'll see you in the next one. Oh, she's so perfect, isn't she?